Illicit drugs. Better not be no dead weed. Who you might call? Damn, my God. Don't this fuck? You smell what? We rolling, bro? Yeah, we rolling. My pack of scissors are tingling. I feel you. <laughs> Oh, you know the you know, the, know the words. You know the whole words. Check, check, check. How my levels look? Towards the mind, the frame, man. I'm good. Huh? He won. He won. He won. I'm two. That's a, that's a, that's kind of a if, if I'm one, if I'm one. That should be a little bit. My life is a movie. I'm um. We'll ride in the movie. Cowboy nah. hat from Gucci. Nah, we ain't doing it. Hey yo. We ain't doing this. That's a bar, bro. And Where you doing? Like, tell me the hook ain't hard. You can't get it's all right. Yeah, bro. But this is what you want to hear when you in the stadium? Uh, when it's ass shaking, you want to hear a little bit For real? I'm gonna throw some one. All right. Yeah. Nah, I ain't throwing that's, one to this. That's the cheat code to the strip club. Y'all need to hit it. That ass gonna be Fuck what? Yeah. That's the cheat code to the strip club. Y'all ain't gonna hit it. It's what? Okay. Mm hmm. Get the wings. Mm hmm. Really need it. Uh huh. Uh huh. Ah. <laughs> I done seen niggas try that in stadium, and I I I, I seen right through the bullshit. Cause why you doing that? Like out the blue, like, wow, like why? Why you doing that? It's a whole nigga on the side, right? You will never got to deal with stadium. He got three packs of ones, like in still in plastic, just bringing them shits out and throwing it for no reason. He don't got no women with him, no other niggas with him. He's just by himself throwing mad money for no reason. For what? What the fuck? What the fuck? I'm sure clubs where you just go in a little room and the girl with the screen shit open and the girl is in the case fucking dancing. Oh, 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 that's, oh, oh, that's, uh, <laughs> that'd, be them, that'd be them rave jokes. Yeah. Were they like in like a glass chamber or something? I'm not going with them shit. Because, and just look at them. Jeans, the motherfucking strippers be fucking rapping. At Norma Norma G's. G's. They be fat in your pockets and everything, bro. Okay, okay. What? I think you hear this Ryan Supreme shit? I only been there like twice. No, I ain't buy it. Yeah, you, ain't, a, you don't gotta buy it. Literally. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, this is Breaking Bread TV. This is your host speaking, co-host, co-owner, Hassan. Um, here with me, I have my brother. Introduce yourself to the people. What's going on, world? <laughs> I'm the other co. Co-owner, co-host, Aziz. Number two, Allah di Meiji, my wealth has doubled. And by the grace of God, amen. Amen, amen, amen. 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 And uh, this is Breaking Bread TV. It's Tuesday, April 23rd. Time is flying. What have you done with your 2019? Yeah, big fact. Because it's almost May. It's almost May. Don't forget that. This shit is almost six months into the year. And you still, you, you ain't looked at your New Year's resolution list since January 5th. So dig that out the trash. I, com I commend people. I'm one of those people that, honestly, like, I, I could be honest with myself and say, you know, I ain't start really locking in till, like, March, mm -hmm. right? So when people have been consistent from the jump of the year, I gotta commend that, yeah. man. And a consistent clown, I honestly wanna say clown of the year, like the first runner up that's been consistent mm -hmm. from day one, 2019, Kodak Black, man. <laughs> what I wanna do, and we can test this out, mm -hmm. is I wanna like have like a clown report every week. We don't wanna give too much light to the bullshit though, but we just going Exactly. I've, I've seen on. it done, you know, sometimes people have a clown report type segment, mm -hmm. but they, once you like harp on it for a long period of time to where you have a whole like 10 minute or even five minute video of you just talking about that, mm -hmm. it defeats the purpose. I wanna highlight the clown shit so that y'all don't have to, you know, look for it anywhere else, y'all don't have to talk about it. I wanna highlight it and tell you, yeah, you bugging out. Mm -hmm. This man, Kodak, Kodak Black, Black. who talk about consistency, determination. <laughs> Since January 1st, I feel like he has been on the most clown shit between Young Ma, Young did, M.A. Did his album drop this year? I mean, no. I'm assuming that this is all, you know, a very long, elaborate, thought out promo run. Mm -hmm. Because, Let, let the people know what Kodak did, man. 
The latest. The latest I mean, thing. I mean, shh. well, his hair, his new hairstyle is. is he looks like Goku. I seen that. Is that real? That's not go. Nah, Goku. Nah, don't do Goku like that, son. Is that real? That's real. That's on his IG. He looked like Lisa Simpson. They got it side by side. <laughs> I'm gonna send it to you. I'm gonna send it to you. But yeah, like we, like I said, we not gonna. I mean. If y'all y'all know y'all have seen Kodak in the news mm-hmm. like literally at least once a week every week since mm-hmm. the new year started, I'm not gonna talk about nothing else. I just wanna say that you know what I'm thinking. We do the people a favor and touch on things very quickly, yeah, so that you don't have to actually go and find that shit. Yeah. We gonna talk about the clown shit, so you don't have to. Big man. fact. But that's enough about yeah, that. Yeah, shout out to Kodak. Um, I hope you find help soon. It's funny. You need it's mentorship. Funny. It's funny how. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we can move on to that. That boy need help. He need guidance, man. No. He need an older man in his life to I tell know him it's right nat- I know it's natural to like say shout out. Shout out to him. person. Like you bullshitting, but still. When well. you're done talking about something. Mm-hmm. But it shouldn't it, be shouting Kodak. No, I feel, I feel no. Kodak, we not because shouting Because there's about. certain I'll shit. I'll that shout There's going to be something that I bring up. And I'm be like, yo, I really like this. And you'll be like, son, fuck that shit. I fuck them you. niggas. You know what I'm saying? Which is natural. I just I don't know how you are. So it's like, I just want to No, you can, I can say shout out. You say fuck that nigga. You're not shout him out. And we good. Oh, all right. Okay, so what, who's next on your uh, clown nigga list? Nah, that's the end of the, so that's the, end this of the list. This is the introductory. Okay. Because what oh, I, gotta highlight one exactly, nigga because what I don't want to happen is that that is how we're starting I our shows. You. And also, that's not how we're going to brand ourselves. I, I think it's actually important right now that we talk about what the hell we are trying to do Big with this podcast, Big right? And you can, you know, interject and, and, and supplement whenever you feel Let me start off with this potato salad, honey. It is, it is. Mm-hmm. I'm going to give you a second to let that sizzle in your spirit. Appreciate um, you. Breaking Bread, the podcast, right? I think it's very, very important that the DMV, Baltimore more specifically, I'm partial, but the, the DMV region um, have more platforms or as many platforms as possible mm-hmm. that, you know, Put the local entrepreneurs, the business owners, the artists, the creatives on, you know, a larger and, and a larger uh, viewpoint. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, even like down to the food that we eat. And again, we breaking bread, bro. This food is catered by somebody. You know what I'm Big saying? Bread. We have people. South of Diamond. South of Diamond, South of man. Your sensation. Your sensation. Um, and you're going to hear. I mean, I'm sure if you've listened to episode one, episode two, you've definitely heard names of people. Um, that we fuck with and that we don't fuck with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when you, if you hear us say their like ad name, it's it's probably love. Yeah, probably go look. Probably it's probably gonna be love. It, it definitely is a lot. Um, it's a lot of good shit in the area, and I just think that you know, one thing people don't realize or artists don't realize, or you know, when they start making music, they think that they're gonna pop off their music. Hmm. And nine times out of ten, you probably not gonna pop off your music. I mean, it might be a you know, unless you Lil Nas X bum ass. And like you know, you have a record that people like so much for so for some odd reason, and it blows. You know that might happen, like a hit record out of nowhere, or Blueface or whatever. But most of the times, when you're growing something from like the grassroots, like when you're doing something naturally, people are not gonna fuck with you solely off of your music. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like it's gonna be they're gonna see you showcased in this other way. Then they're gonna come back to the music. They're gonna see it an interview. Or they're going to be attracted to how you move on Instagram or whatever. They're going to see another side of you other than music and then be like, hmm, this nigga's interesting. Yes. This nigga got an interesting set of, you know, interesting mindset, interesting take on things. I agree with what he says here. He's funny, whatever. The nigga fly, whatever. Like, and, and that's how... They buy into the person. Exactly. Whether the person is good or not, like, they'll buy into a person being, you know, a clown. Again, I mean, for lack of a better term. Like, people and will buy into that and that'll sell records. Furthermore... Um, don't think if your music is good and you're an ain't shit nigga or ain't shit woman that you're going to thrive. No. You know, j- j- the same way people is going to be attracted to you, you know, probably first off of you as a person and second off of your music, people, people will, you know, you only go so far if your music is good and your, you know, your personality or how you interact with people. It's a lot of niggas around that like feel like they don't have to, they just a... Uh, I mean, screw face. Like, they feel like they don't have to... I know who you're talking about. That's crazy. Uh, you don't know who I'm talking about. I do. We don't have to mention names, but it's. But I understand what you're saying because yeah. we've had this conversation before. Yeah. We also had a conversation before. It's funny that we, uh, we're having this talk now mm-hmm. um, because we spoke about weeks ago, we were in the car, mm-hmm. and this is when Juice World album just dropped mm-hmm. and did something stupid like 170 million 
streams or something like that. Child to God. You know what I'm saying? But mm-hmm. we were having a conversation then about uh, the state of the industry and people mixing genres and mm-hmm. things of that nature. Mm-hmm. And actually, Dave East was a part of the conversation, if you remember. Yeah, I remember because Eddie Bumass, shout out to Eddie Musa. Shout out to Musa, man. Said that, um, he said Dave East ain't got no personality. Something so like that. so, so how, that was the conversation from. that we were having mm-hmm. last week. Remember, we like weeks ago, mm-hmm. I was saying that you know, or, or or you were arguing that because I was like bumping the Juice World album in the car. Mm-hmm. It was like, well, this ain't real hip hop, or you know, you don't really Let like. Me reiterate my point, so you can continue. Mm-hmm. What I was saying was, I felt like it was very little soul put into his music. Mm-hmm. There's very little feeling, very little emotion. Similar to Nas X and why I don't appreciate his music is because, or his song, because I don't even know the nigga music. It's only one song. I'm the waiting al- for the, the next al- song. The album about to be about All- 11 different iterations of the yeah. same. <laughs> so what I was saying. It's about to be the DJ version on a, on a 10 minute loop, the what, acapella. What, what I was saying, saying was, I don't appreciate people coming in, because cause, cause hip hop, from what I understand, or just music, urban music, let's say urban music, in terms of soul, whatever. That shit comes from a place of struggle, first and foremost, in my opinion. Or it just comes from, when you even go back to like slave spirituals and shit, like, a lot, like black people, we take pain and we make it into something beautiful. Yes. Or there's just emotion, whether it's you in poverty, whether it's you got your heart broke, whether it's you got a kid to raise, you you gotta be on man time shit. or whatever. On man time. <laughs> Shout out to Raheem Supreme. There's like, I'm sticking to the damn grind. <laughs> <laughs> so like you have to put a certain piece of yourself into your music, right? And that's one thing that I feel like a lot of new artists are lacking, and that's one thing that I feel like Davies is not lacking. That's the, that's how right. But that's but this is my thing. So I'm gonna ask you a question now. Mm-hmm. Do you feel like what Juice World is doing with his blending of genres, or mm-hmm. just let's just let's just even take the blending of genres out of it? Mm-hmm. Do you feel like because you cited you know Dave East or just putting your soul, your pain into your music. Mm-hmm. Do you feel like what Juice World and what Lil Nas X are doing is the same thing? Um, it's Do levels. you put them in the same category? It's levels, and no, not really. I actually enjoy Juice World's music first. Because because when we talk about emotion being put in music, he does, he does. Reason, I've heard it, bro. I've heard the it, reason why I love Juice World album so much, and this is music in general, is because all of like the angsty emotion that like we would listen to like those like rock bands. Yeah. in high school mm-hmm. like the uh the rejects yeah. you know all american rejects yeah. and, and and all and like paramore and all yeah. that yeah. it's a beautiful thing we can't listen to that shit not we you said we, yeah. we but continue. i'm saying that the, like, right right <laughs> but you could because because again like culturally the way that we express angst or like look for it in art is a, definitely is a different thing mm-hmm. right but if juice world came out in like 20 oh he would 20, be, oh, nine, he would be winning if you sort of came out, I, would, I didn't say all I'm that. just saying, like, to that. I'm saying I would have appreciated that, and I think it's very important for, for people like him to exist yeah. because I love the fact that dudes want to rap up in general. People want to rap now without feeling the need to force some type of, like, like hard, shit. hard persona. I've struggled. Like, you can even still struggle. But what I hated for the longest and what is still plaguing the game today. No yeah, it's like, it's, like to, it's like a prerequisite for the rap game was... Yeah. How much you've suffered in life, or how much of a G you are, son. It's like that's why I love Uzi. But you know, another part of my argument was, and we, we can move off this soon. Uh-huh. But it's like the way certain people try to mix. I'm very protective over the like the the, the culture that I identify with, right? So it's like people will try to mix pop and hip hop, or country and hip hop, right? But it the, but the the premise of it is. Is, is not genuine, if you understand what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Like, you're really just trying to, like, garner support from this group, right? But you're not really rooted in, you understand know what I'm saying? Or you don't come from that. that. The reason I had a problem with Juice World at first, right? I fuck with his music, but, like, it was certain pop records, right? Mm-hmm. That you calling yourself a hip-hop artist, but you're making these pop records that don't really... And it's like, he, he pretty much was split into two different sounds. Like, this is the pop shit. This is for the... 
And then he made like the joint album with uh with Future, with Future. and that shit was, that shit was crazy. Yeah. That's my point. But you know, we can we can move on. From yeah, that. man. I I feel like I feel like there's there's there also there's room for everybody. This is as a yeah, closing statement. Right. There's room for everybody. I think that people ident like when when I see people identifying with a certain sound or a certain artist or whatever the case may be. Get your money. And it's people that beforehand again. There's certain people or certain consumers that feel like they don't have a place mm -hmm. or they don't have like a sound that they can identify with or artists or, you know what I'm saying, spokespeople. But when you find it, get your money. Get your money, bro. Yeah. Get your money, bro. But we're, um, I think we, we, what do you want to just start? I think we're yeah, talking about, that's, uh, that's, you know, you know what I'm saying? Let's that's get the Kanye, man. Let's get the Kanye, straight to Kanye? Yeah, let's get it out the way. I'm going to start by saying I love Kanye West. You do? Kanye West is the reason why I love music. Mm. I can say that because I've been listening to music since before Kanye came out. But talk about loving music and instrumentation and, and, and organizing exactly yeah. like listening to music with a different type of um, with a different ear and, and caring about how things are organized. Yeah. Kanye West is definitely uh, you know he he inspired that idea that he the inception of of that love of music came from him. But but right uh, in the community. Uh, he has been uh, rubbing some people the wrong way, for sure. Mm -hmm. And people have been very vocal about their disdain for Kanye West. Um, and he, he's honestly been on some nut shit recently. No. But you'll notice, right? You'll notice mm -hmm. that recently mm -hmm. he been real qu quiet. But I don't fuck with that. Listen to me. This, 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 is, this, is, this, is, this is what I have an issue with. And I'm sure I'm not, I'm not the first person to say this. First of all, you seen how he looked? That man fat as shit, man. Oh, what does that mean? He just he happy. Let put on that happy. I don't. Weight, I, don't relationship I can't weight. even call relationship weight, bro. That's another myth, man. Because so what does him being fat? What does that tell you? It just threw me off. Like yo, this nigga Ye getting he lose he, he he um he losing himself, man. But this is my point. Man, look crazy. In that last Sunday service video, he looked crazy, bro. I seen. Okay, everybody knows about Sunday service. Like Kanye had his um performance at Coachella. I think he's been doing it before Coachella, but this yeah. one became big uh -huh. where he brings a choir out. And like you know, they sing spirituals or whatever. I didn't really sing hymns. When I see Kanye's name, I just look to the left. If hella, Kanye's name is to the right, I look to the left. So I didn't really like. Pay hell, they to got it. hella African drums over it and shit like My that. My issue is, why were you so vocal when nobody wanted you to be? Right? Uh -huh. Nobody asked you to be the voice for whatever, right? Uh -huh. And you were so vocal about whatever, whatever, whatever. I never put too much stock in this bullshit he was saying, right? But then I see, I see. Kanye, I see a tweet that says Kanye, Cuddy, and DMX, and DMX and Chance yeah. have an emotional moment, right? And they all sitting there hugging and crying. What are you crying for? Let me know. Be vocal now, bro. Let me know exactly what you crying for. What is the, where, where is the emotion coming from? I'm asking. Was it Sunday he just felt like crying? Like, I'm asking. Maybe. Dog, no, I, I need more. I need more of an explanation. I don't, why do you, why? Because. I understand why you might require that, but why do you feel entitled to that explanation? Because I don't feel entitled. That's why I said when Kanye's name is to the right, I look to the left. I don't feel entitled to anything from him. But I'm seeing this shit and I have a 10 second issue with it. Because it's like, all of this talking, right, was bullshit. Then you're going to bring us back with the music. Like, that's what his, that's what his, Trajectory he got over me. and over again. He got my ass, man. Why are you? Why are you emotional, nigga? All this shit is a ploy. The game I'm about to is cop, a ploy, I'm bro. About to cop Yeezys. You about to, next I mean, week? I ain't mad at niggas copying Yeezys. I, I adamantly said I want I Kanye not, to go sell shoes, bro. Just go sit down and sell would, shoes, bro. bro when, remember when Iggy Azalea came out? I said, bro, all this controversy and all of this, you know, uh, 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 just turmoil that that was in the game when when people were like that was coming out, right? I said if she just modeled, if she just said I want to model, nobody will have any issue with Iggy Azalea. Yeah, I just want Kanye to go somewhere and make shoes and make beats, but don't talk about politics. Don't talk about Elon Musk, whatever the fuck he be talking about. Like Walt Disney. Yeah, what? Well, don't do that. That's that shit is over. It's played out. And a winter name dropping. He be name dropping like we be name no reason. People. I be name dropping people I love, man. For he no be reason. name dropping people. He anyway, 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 anyway. Speaking of Co Coachella, mm -hmm. Coachella, mm -hmm. I'm probably never gonna go to that. Right, I'm, like, I'm not. I'm, I'm just not a, like a festival person, mm -hmm. and I have really shitty allergies too. I'm mm -hmm. sneezing and shit all day. Mm -hmm. But I saw. Again, you said Cuddy was in the video. Yeah. Cuddy actually dropped ten thousand dollars on Popeyes mm -hmm. for the homeless before Coachella. 
I'm not sure how good that is for the homes, to be honest. <laughs> Popeyes? Uh, I, I love, love Popeyes. Popeyes bro. I love Popeyes as much as the next nigga, but for people that aren't regularly getting nutrients, mm-hmm. I don't know if Popeyes they get is the best. protein, carbs, and fats. They get in the macros, Aziz, bro. Aziz, we are not about to sit here and act like Popeyes. But this is, is the thing. This is the thing. I also know that homeless people will like smoke cigarettes. To deal with the hunger pains. I want a nigga to. I want a nigga to invest ten. We said ten thousand. Ten racks. Ten thousand in meal prep for the homeless. Not no Popeyes, bro. You that's crap. just that's di- no no no. That's disrespectful. You understand? You understand? You understand what, bro? You understand? Listen, okay. I'm gonna look, 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 look. No, no, when no, no, Trump no, no, no. bought when Trump bought Popeyes for Clemson, right? Niggas was tight, right? Because Clemson's football is not a bunch of homeless niggas. They are Clemson. It's the same football. idea. You should not, not think. You should not think it's charitable to feed people fast food. That's that's all it is. Bruh, it's charitable to feed people that can't eat. You, you're right. That's the charitable part. You're right. I'm just saying, we could do better, man. If niggas, hey, if you are listening to this and you want to gift me some Popeyes, <laughs> you don't got to worry about no, what No, give me want. some Popeyes. Give me I'm some strips, extra spicy with the sweet heat sauce <laughs> and fries on the side, man, with the mashed potatoes, bruh. <laughs> you don't listen. I'm not, come on, man. What? <laughs> Clemson football and homeless people? No, I'm They don't saying. pay athletes. They don't pay college athletes, bruh. But they, but they are high. Yeah. They are high, man. So, mm, never mind. They are high. The last Coachella thing before we get off of Coachella, bro. Mm-hmm. So who opened this year for Coachella? I don't know. Who Y'all opened. know who opened? Does anybody know who? I don't, I don't pay attention to that rubbish. Cause I, again, I don't. Know. I just see like headlines. I only know like, Queen B. That's I, all I know. Yeah, I know like people like have That's headlined before and X, it was B Tella. Wasn't even Coachella. It was B Tella. Again, yeah. I thought B Tella was last year. Nigga, Beachella is every year every until, year? until Beyonce retires. We gotta talk about nah, never mind. We don't gotta talk about that. What? But nah, I just don't. I don't even want to speak life into that into that discussion, man. Because I Yo, love B- Beyonce so much. Le- but mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. right, I heard allegedly alleged in the streets. Right, the streets is talking, and they saying that Beyonce and Ariana Grande made like about four mil a piece mm-hmm. to headline Coachella. Mm-hmm. You know who made more than that combined? Mm-hmm. Like more than their combined. Opening price for Coachella the weekend made over Able to expire. <laughs> over eight million dollars. He like like the, the sources are saying like it's definitely over eight mil. I don't know how much it is over eight mil, but even if it is eight mil flat, how Beyonce? Yo, shout and out, out to the week. No no no. Fuck Ariana Grande. We're not even talking about her. Yo. Yeah, we're not talking about her. No, nah, we're not talking. Huh? She's very talented, but we're not giving her any light on the podcast. I'm sorry. She doesn't need any more. That's why light. I eat my potato salad. Eat though. your potato salad. Um. Shout out to the weekend. There's no way you should be getting paid more to Beyonce when y'all. Yo, what? Though. There's no way. Yo, did you see the Beyonce documentary? You I saw snippets of it. it. No, I catch nothing. Of it. Beyonce is a machine, a machine, bruh, bruh. I'm a part of Beehive now. Hmm. Yeah. No bullshit. Look, I'm not bullshitting. What camp, nigga? I'm not bullshitting. I'm Beehive for life. What camera we on? What, what camera we on? Hey. <laughs> I'm getting that shit tatted yeah. on my chest, dog. You know how the athletes be saying, hey, hey, what camera we on? Hey, hey, <laughs> March 29th. I'm beating, uh, <laughs> dog. I'm Bruh. beating, um, uh, Ariana Grande as for for Beyonce. If I see her, well, in the no, 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 no. Bruh. Why? No, no, no. Hold on. Why did you say that? Because the they whole beef. The, yeah, no, the whole beef was before the weekend came into the situation. It was that Ariana got paid. More than as, Beyonce, yeah, or as yeah, much as Beyonce. Exactly, and uh, they, that should never happen. Dog, the shit she was going through off a kid, son. Off, what do you mean off a kid? Nick, off twins. Off twins. It's not an easy task, bro. You know how hard it was for mom and dad to bring us up. Dog, dog. And they they had to perform. They had to perform in front of fifty thousand, bro. Hitting the de- hitting the dance steps and everything, bro. I don't get it. God I bless don't. them for what they did because yeah. they still went through a lot, man. Bro. Yeah, we thank you. You know, well, dad, shit. dad, dad. You can't dance, bro. You can't dance like that. You can't dance like that. And I don't want him to either. And I, I wouldn't want him to. That's Dog, crazy. Do you get uncomfortable watching uh, Childish Gambino dance? I know we had this no, conversation. You don't? I don't at all. You don't? No. Okay. Because you want to know it's crazy? And we can move off this in a second. Yeah, yeah. we're going to definitely, we're not even about to stay on this joke. Yeah. It's crazy that, like, there's shit that I do for myself, right? Uh-huh. That I'd be wondering, do people kind of, like, do they gauge me the you same way? You got on your lip, bro. Potato salad. I know That's how good this shit is, right, man. Right. On the other side, right, right, mustache. Right. Not right here. Just look your lips, bro. All right, continue. You don't gotta do all that, but continue. <laughs> you feel uncomfortable watching me lick my I lips? I did, just like I feel uncomfortable see, watching Charles Gambino. But you see how licking my lips is different than like that's a that's no a no no no. The way that nigga's dancing is very seductive. No, no joke about seductive? it. We're not even no, no we're not no, even gonna bullshit. Let me ask a question though. Let me ask a question though. 
if your perception of his movement is seductive, like, do you know what? Do you understand what it means to say that the way that he's dancing is seductive? If a woman was is he on seducing stage, you the way he he's dancing? Me, I don't know who he's seducing. Okay, so you can't label his shit as seductive because that's it's provocative, seducing you, bro. Provocative. That's a different thing, and provocative can also mean a whole lot of different. I understand, things, but it's, it means exactly what you think I mean when I'm talking about a nigga dancing provocatively, bro. Hey, shout out to Childers though. That nigga's a genius. I respect you. I love you. I love your music. Guava Island was the shit, but. I wish you would find a choreographer. No, bro. Bro, son, there is so much more to be gained and learned from. Like a nigga that a nigga that a nigga that just does what he wants to do unapologetically. Like there's niggas who are unapologetic in this game in this industry that we're talking about right now, mm-hmm. and they're teaching people. To be trash, like I feel you. you no, know no, no, it's all jokes. I yeah, no, no. You know what I'm saying? But like, I just don't like the nigga dancing. That's like, it. honestly, and this is kind of like a conspiracy that I'm not gonna harp on, and we'll just have to start. Black men. No, oh, I'm, I'm not even. I apologize. About that. I'm not. Like that out of the script. You see, use your common sense. <laughs> nah, bro. But but when so for instance, when Prince died, right? Mm-hmm. Um, the reason why Prince's death hurt me so much. Kind of goes back to the same conversation that we were having before about rap music and being able to identify with different things. Mm-hmm. It's like Prince to me uh, defined what it meant to be unapologetically yourself, mm-hmm. right? And him dying hurt me so much because it's like you made me comfortable being myself, Look you know, that. more or less, Look that. right? So when people are unapologetic and it, like, like you can be a weirdo, son, like. You, niggas can call Charles can be no weirdo all they want. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He's definitely a weirdo to some people, but I'm not about to crucify somebody for being weird. I'm I'm a lot harder, and I have way less you know cut cards for people who are unapologetically and like willfully obtuse. Mm-hmm. You're always a dickhead. Mm-hmm. You're always doing things for shock value. Yeah. You're always just say, like you're you're clearly like disrespecting people. That's why we listen. That's why we gonna have the clown of the week segment. Because it's some people who are so damn consistent I'm being, being a dickhead, son. I'm you I'm feel good. what I'm saying? I'm so when Childish is unapologetically himself, like that's literally why I'm a fan of this man. And that's why all of his art comes across the way it does, and it does so well. It's because he cares less about how it's going to be received, people and talking about it. You know what I'm saying? He just, and he just does it. And we love it when it comes out. I love Wilder everything Island, but the dancing. Bro. I fuck with it though. That means he batting, he not batting a thousand, he batting, about, he batting about nine something, yeah, bro. About nine How many seven. niggas in baseball right now batting, batting over three? Uh, about 50% of the league. 15. 15? 15, 15, 15. He's batting above 300. Maybe, maybe 20. Come I don't, on, I don't man. really watch baseball. It's Come not, on, man. Not America's pastime anymore. Come on. Um, man. Let's, let's move to the more local thing. Um, um, AM Fest was this past weekend. Although at I didn't American. get, yeah, at, at American University. Although I didn't, um, get to attend. I want to shout out all the artists that I fuck with <laughs> that were there. The shit looked lit. Shout out to Cassine. Shout out to Twenty Never. Twenty Never, man. Um, to the day I D I E. Uh. <laughs> shout out to um, Alex Vaughn. Always, man. She was looking tremendous. Torch <laughs> 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 <Tourist, laughs> like that shit. <laughs> <laughs> We we appreciate you greatly. We appreciate you. Shout out greatly, to Sedna. What's the next AV sessions, man? I don't know. We'll see. Local. We'll see. I miss that. So I need my wine and my. I need this. I'm trying to be in AV sessions with this right Get here. Get Alex and Eddie on the phone. My red blend, son. Yeah. And just be moving through the moving through the crowd, man. Shout out to um. Shout out to Sedna. Mm. Um, I'm not. Are you familiar with her? No, oh, not at all. She's dope as fuck. Really? Yeah. I met her at the Line Hotel. She's a, she was a bartender there. Mm. And she make music too? She she's in a band. She sings and she's in a band. She's dope as fuck. And That's she's bald headed. Bald headed oh. women are coming back for 2019. 2019. Listen, that, women, <laughs> cut your hair off, man. <laughs> Just cut it off. <laughs> cut it off, man. Um, yeah, she's in a band called Purple Hurt. And her soap look her her set looked really dope as well. She was dressing this wild like bondage shit. Like she had mad ropes covering. Bohemian her. or was it like Bohemian? Like we said ropes. Ropes, dog. Oh, so not just like wraps and like, no. Shit I think it was ropes, but it was like mad ropes that made it like was, a bust. It was like it was like mad ropes. She looked like um shorty from Tomb Raider. <laughs> it's like but like a sexy ropes. version. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to this nigga said it was it was like ropes, but it was like mad ropes. Mad ropes, yeah, it was mad ropes. Mad ropes. Shout out to Sedna. Um and. 
I'm sure there's a bu- bunch of other artists there that I'm, I'm not um, privy to yet, but uh, shout out to everybody that was there. It looked successful. Um, shout out to Sean Cooper. Made it's always, always, man. That man's eye man. is different, yeah, man. That boy Book Sean, bro. Hey, I'm tight with Sean, though. Why you talking about Sean? Because, like, the picture that him and um, China uh, took for Brightly City Fest for the for they promo, I took that shit. They ain't tagged me, my nigga. Oh. <laughs> Like y'all niggas always be talking about y'all tag the shooter. Me. Y'all <laughs> Nigga, tag the shooter, my nigga. So you took a picture. No, no, no. You took a picture for them. I was at the promo shoot for Broccoli City. Okay. And they were shooting the shots, right? And then they wanted somebody to take a picture of the shooters wearing the uh, Broccoli City merch. So when it was your turn to shoot them, uh-huh. and they were in front of the camera. Yeah, exactly. Now they are quiet. Yeah, now it's shy. cricket. Yeah, exactly. Okay, okay. And I like Let that shit. Known. I like that shit. The record is showing. The record is showing. <laughs> <laughs> you people, <laughs> you're fraudulent. I, I look. And God is watching. <laughs> <laughs> I looked at the picture, but like I didn't really, um, I didn't really, uh, I, I, I liked it, but I didn't comment because I, I would have felt oh, like. Oh nah. It. You know, when a woman's scorned and she just be commenting under all your pictures. Oh. She just wants you to see her. Like I don't want, I don't want that to happen. Whatever. I don't want it to happen. Mm. Yo, um, only photographer I'm tagging. Torres, unlock that door, please. The rest of this year is TA Images. Give it up for TA Images for the fly ass bitch I posted on Instagram today. I'm gonna clap for him myself, man. My man Tyler Austin, he captured the drip for my Saturday league. This nigga is having a whole promo run for his fucking promo run, man. Football league. Listen, man. I fuck with that nigga, man. We gon' we gon' we gon' have him on the show, and that's again Most the definitely. point of uh, you know breaking bread is that we're gonna start bringing these people on the camera, man. Big that, big fact for sure. For um, sure. let's talk about Towson University very briefly, the illustrious Towson University. Your uh, <laughs> your alma mater? It's not my alma mater. <laughs> I spent uh, three and a half semesters there. And what to happen? And never looked back. <laughs> you 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 divested from Towson University. I've divested all interests until they show that they can better handle. What happened at Towson this week, man? A so, um, um, this is from the Baltimore Sun. A small group of protesters at Towson University with signs promising hellfire to gay people, hey. Muslims, and other groups were yes. met <laughs> were met by hundreds. Of, I hear me. <laughs> were met by hundreds of counter protesting students Thursday afternoon. As the group of about five people waved signs and called students homophobic slurs through a megaphone, hundreds of students waving rainbow flags surrounded them, screaming and chanting, love is love. Um, the article goes on to say that these five students were not a part of Towson University. I don't believe hey. that for one motherfucking second. But That's you know. how it starts, bro. Yeah, we can continue. Um, yeah, that shit definitely... I mean, do you know anybody that go to Towson that, that was talking to you about that? No. Have you seen anything on Instagram about it? No. Yeah, that shit definitely niggas was niggas was definitely tight. They said the marching band was out there counter protesting. <laughs> <laughs> niggas was like <laughs> Niggas was like Towson University marching band finally good for something. <laughs> I'm just appalled that Yo, I'm hot. It said it said <laughs> It said Towson University police got word Yo. that um, that there was going to be a, a small Yo. protest that this was going on. Pretty much, from what I understand, correct me if I'm wrong, but they knew it was going to happen, and they just wanted, I guess, niggas to exercise free speech or whatever. Tell me if that was a different group of people mm-hmm. from a different ethnic background, background mm-hmm. saying different shit, mm-hmm. it wouldn't have been pepper spraying that motherfucker. Tell Come me on, that. man. Tell me that. Like, I, I'm surprised that people could like say this on a on a people, college campus. People at Maryland's campus got pepper sprayed for worse. For, yeah, for, for like, having a party, for right? For less, excuse for me. having a party, right? That was that was Maryland. That was um, UM police. University of Maryland police pepper sprayed students. Yeah. For less than that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that shit was definitely a problem. Like, what are we like? What are we talking about? Yeah. Some apparently a nigga got punched in the face and like his glasses broke. Like it was wild shit going on in Towson. On which side? Who? Or was he? Was he for the people? Somebody that was counter protesting. So they was on the good side. Okay, because the counter protest. So like with the band was okay. I understand what you're saying. Yeah, they got punched in the face. Um, I hope that <laughs> hope that young man or woman is okay. I think Towson's back to his regularly scheduled programs at this point. Man. I just wanted to shout out. Um, <laughs> I just wanted to shout out to you. Y'all keep doing what y'all do, man. Um, it's obviously going well for you. And for sure, for we'll sure. see if, you, if I'll be back soon. What are we? What are we getting into this weekend? Oh, this weekend is great. We're getting into a pl- uh, a, a couple of things. A cornucopia. Um, of cornucopia. Sh- that of was a great word. That was a great word. Um, first of all, Sunday we having that um, 
What is it? African brunch? What is it? What is it called? What's the official it's title? On Sunday we brunch. On, on Sunday, Sunday we brunch. we're having a brunch. At Pedro's Kitchen. Shout out to my auntie. Hi, yeah. Auntie Pedro. We love you. Don't worry. You're not gonna <laughs> hear this, but we're gonna see you. Now nah, we gotta bring her on the show. Oh, eventually, yeah, yeah, yeah. but we're gonna see her on Sunday. It's yeah. gonna be like, wow, you guys are so grown. Definitely. I remember when you were like this. Definitely. Blah, 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 we're gonna blah. have the hookah lit. The, the do you say lit? It's gonna be it's gonna be a fun For occasion. Sure, That's man. on Sunday. That's on Sunday. Um, on Saturday, I'm I'm sure you're not going, but I'll, I'll be attending. The illustrious Broccoli City Festival. Yeah, man, I'm gonna be out of commission for that. I don't, one I don't know, I don't know how confident I, I am in, I am in, the the festival itself. And apparently, sitting in the water is the same weekend. Huh? Is this is that weekend. true? Or something in the water? Something in the water? Is something in the water? Yeah, this something in the water too? is this weekend. So first of all, first of all, for niggas saying that that Virginia's not winning. Come on, man. I don't know. I don't oh, know. Man. They won this weekend. Come on. They man. won this weekend. I love Virginia, man. Yeah. I have no doubt that something in the water is gonna be probably a better uh, a better scene and a better event. Come on, if you're an show. artist, if you're a hot artist right now, and Pharrell has his festival in uh-huh. Virginia, and Broccoli City is the same weekend, yeah. what are you doing? What are you doing? But apparently, see, I think I, actually these niggas are, they plotting, they plotting because Broccoli City has been announced. They announced something in the water after Broccoli City. You so can I, do that. No, no, but I think they did it on purpose. Like they've been hearing all the VA oh, yes. ain't part of DMV talk, and they just wanted to stun on niggas real quick. And they're doing a great job. Somehow, some way, the whole DMV is like the DMV localization, the region, the regionalizing. Mm-hmm. I'm making up all these words. Regionalization, right now. bro. All this is uh, gonna be is gonna work into conversation every single episode, bro. What's the lineup for the Trippy Red? Um, yeah. First of all, first of all, there's atrocities. Couple of atrocities. We're gonna run through this quickly. Couple of atrocities going His on. Name at, is um, Red too. Dog. Broccoli <laughs> Con. So they so they did Broccoli Con for Broccoli City couple days before Broccoli City, right? Okay. So it's pretty much like a networking. They have panels and shit like that. Nigga, the tickets cost $250. For just one? For, for one day? For two days. For two days. It's like Wednesday and Thursday or some shit. What yeah. is it? Talk. You can talk. You speak. Friday is BroccoliCon. Uh-huh. The days that I like. And then Friday night is the free So BroccoliCon is one day? Mm-hmm. And they charge a niggas two fifty. Two hundred dollars The VIP passes is 315 American dollars. Yeah. And yeah, the trap karaoke shit. That's a scam. And then the um the lineup is Childish Gambino, Lil Wayne, Black, LMA, Lil Baby, Tiana mm. Taylor, Wizkid, Gunna, City Girls, oh, YBN yeah. Cordae. Ben, no, no, hold on, but it's bullshit. The two acts from DC are in small print at the bottom. Or from the DMV anyway. From, from the well, DMV. Well, YBN Cordae from the DMV. Uh, I guess, I guess. He's from Maryland. He's from He's Maryland. Maryland. Yeah, I don't really fuck with him, though. I don't, I don't rate him. But um, f- 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 shout out to Phil Ade. All the way at the bottom. Hosted by Scotty. Yeah, hosted by Scotty Bean. Why is somebody from New York hosting Broccoli City? Did she do that last year too? Uh, she ho- no no. Why well, she might have uh, digging in the crates? No no no. But she was here for no. She definitely had like a thing for uh, Broccoli City. She might have. But why if it's a DC because based remember festival, she invited us out to that shit. I feel you. Oh yeah, you're right. I think I think um digging in the crates was part of her was like, like the Friday before. Yeah, 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 yeah. Part of like the, the whole run that she was doing for the weekend. So I, she had an event the next day. I'm going to be at Broccoli City. I'm going to I'm going to um, be looking for anybody um, with answers to my questions. And most of those questions will be, what are you doing for D.C.? Because <laughs> what are you doing for the region, man? Yeah, I don't really see much. Also, random. What is Broccoli Bar? That is a question. <laughs> I know it's a bar, but what? Where did it come from? What is the what is the genesis of it? What do you what, what is the point? Hey, listen. Apparently they only got two types of wines at Broccoli Bar. Yeah. What type of bar is that? That's confirmed? Yeah. What type of bar is that? The world It's an and pizza with a bar. I thought the whole time it was an and pizza, but they, but they serve broccoli. <laughs> like that's what I thought it was, dog. <laughs> the people that um <laughs> Own, manage, and contribute to Broccoli City. I have many questions, and I hope I want to look into why I'll they even named that, bro. Um, it's it's like an the so the first one they had, I believe, was on Earth Day, and like you know, it's uh, like this a is Earth Day today, I think. It's today, yeah, which means they missed the mark. It's get, I feel like it's getting that means they missed the mark. Y'all <laughs> niggas bullshit. I feel, I feel like it's getting further and further away from what the fuck it was supposed to be. It's, it's like turning Easter, into like right? Coachella Easter be shit. happening randomly a bunch of times during the year. Like it changes every weekend, but yeah, but I'll be there. We will we, the will we will get into. The mystery behind know. Broccoli Bar next time. Yeah, on we'll, like, we'll let you know the update. The podcast. Um, one final thing I had to say, um, and this is something that stuck with me. It, it, it was in a book that I've been reading called um, uh, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. And, like, I'm only on the second chapter. I'm a slow reader. I was hooked on phonics as a young child. Facto. But, um, <laughs> but uh, 
and it, it it was a chapter and it and it was talking about um where the term um you know having a burning desire to win mm-hmm. comes from um it was basically like you know back in ancient times or whatever these niggas was on a ship and they was going to a beach to kill some niggas right this is the fast version mm-hmm. and they got off the ship the general told niggas burn all them ships mm. he looked to the soldiers and said look at these ships they're burning there is no way back. Hmm. The only way out of this situation is to fight. Is is winning or accomplishing the goal or whatever. There's literally no way back. So that's where the, the term coming or uh, that's where the term burning desire to win comes from. And it's basically about how you have to have like no almost like a lack of a plan B. Or you just have to have this like there's no, there's no such thing as failure. Like Unrelenting I have no option. Determination. Yeah, I have no option but to win. Relentless. Yes, yes. So, um, that definitely hit me, and I, de- you know, I'm definitely trying to. It's, it's a wild thing to tell somebody not to have a plan B or not to think about what if I lose. You, you just got to be focused on winning at the end of the day. Yeah, man. So you know, I, I just wanted that's... to leave you with that and leave the people with that. Um, you know, have that mindset moving forward and all the things that you love and have a passion for. But uh. And that's why we here, man. That's why we break yeah, bread. That's why we break bread. Appreciate, I appreciate y'all. you, brother. I'm gonna yeah. actually eat this food with some uh, with some intention. Yeah, now that, uh, I was. Done. I hope the people didn't hear me uh, chomping down. Oh no, nah, that's that's what, see. That's what happens when you invest in the mic too. You invest in your craft and your passion. Uh, bro. tell these niggas. If it sound different, it uh, feel different, it look different. Uh, You're not gonna hear. Can you hear that? <laughs> you Slightly. Hear that? <laughs> you hear that? Oh, Thank you all for yeah, listening. Appreciate you. Episode three. Third time's a charm, man. Third time's a charm, definitely. You know what I'm saying? One love. One love. Water. Water. <laughs> <laughs>